So we've checked our trees um, for, for clock likeness in pathogen. Um, now you're going to set up beast using beauty. Um, you need to use two files. The first file is the Nexus format sequence file. So this is actually the same file as you used before, but it's in the Nexus format. Um, and also to set up a traits analysis, you additionally need the traits file. But to start with, you just need that first file. If you go back to C drive, training software, software. Now in here, there's actually several different versions of Beast. <laughs> what I want you to do is use Beast version 1.8.0. Each version of Beast has got slightly more features in and gets slightly more complicated each time. Anyway, so we'll use this version. Within Beast version 1.8.0, there is the main Beast program, but there's also this beauty program here. And this is the thing that you need to use to set, to make the configuration file to set up Beast. So we open it. Okay. So now open that Nexus file. It's not open, it's actually import data. So I'll just go to that directory where our practical data is. It's in original data and it's the Nexus file. Okay, open. Good, it's got it in there. <laughs> Um, there are 92 sequences, as I said before, and there are 17,000 sites, which you will have seen in Mega. Now, mostly in Beauty, mostly what you're doing, there's a lot of things to set, mostly you go along the tabs in order, apart from now and again you flick backwards and forwards. So the next tab, the Taxa tab, you actually don't need to do anything because you're going to use all of those Taxa, so you can just ignore it. The tab after that, tips. Now, this is looking rather similar to Pathogen. This is because it's almost the same group of people that wrote the software. So, we're going to use tip dates. And as before, as in Pathogen, we're going to guess the dates. So the other tip is that if it works in Pathogen, it'll work in Beauty. So we're going to Thank use you. tip dates and guess the dates. And the dates are at the last part of the taxonome. So we click last click OK and as before when it reads it in you get the date and the height of the tip from the youngest tip so that's how you can check that it's come in correctly okay good now we're not we're not going to do traits just yet although as part of this you should we're just going to go straight on to the sites tab and we're going to use the SRD06 model. When you click it you will see that it automatically changes so the HKY substitution model it's got um, gamma distributed rates between the sites with four categories as we did before. It's got this thing where you've got codon positions one and two together and three as its own thing that's automatically set for you. So that's fine. So to make that work, you just click the SRD06 model. Next, you need to set the clock rate model. So the choices here are strict and then some different relaxed. Um, you'll have the opportunity in the next task to compare the models. But for now, you can just choose one here. You, I would choose the log normal relaxed clock. Then the next tab, trees. So this is, the, this is the population models I was talking about before. And in fact, we can just keep it on constant size. Although when you click on it, you can see there's actually a lot of choices that you can have for those, that effective population size over time. But we just have constant for now. And we can just start from any random starting tree because it's going to change the tree as it, as it goes. Okay, states. 
we don't need to worry about this tab yet because we're not doing the discrete traits yet. However, we do need to worry about the priors. So remember in the lecture I said that there are informative and uninformative priors and some, some parts of the model you need to set to be sensible values. This is the case here. So CP1 plus 2 mu, this is a rate multiplier for the codon positions 1 and 2. Now, it's not really all the way from 0 to infinity. What I do is I just set it to be, it can be any number between 0 and 100. So this is relatively uninformative, but it's a little bit informative. And I set the, the third, the, that for position 3, a bit like that as well. So uniform between 0 and 100, start at 1. The really important prior to set is on the clock rate. Now, because um, in this case I've chosen a relaxed log normal clock, the thing that says clock is this ucld.mean. In fact, it stands for uncorrelated log normal clock. That's why it's got that funny name. And we're going to set this as a normal distribution. And because we looked in pathogen already, we already know that what, what our idea of the clock rate actually is. So I would say set it to be similar to what the clock rate was. So start it off at 5 times 10 to the minus 3 as a normal distribution. Let it have a mean of 5 times 10 to the minus 3 because that's what we measured in pathogen but let's give it a big standard deviation in case we were a bit wrong. So let's give it a standard deviation of 3 times 10 to the minus 3. Also, let's say, well, it's really not going to be from 0 to infinity. Let's give it an upper bound 0.1. OK, so now all of our priors are set. The next tab... You don't need to change anything on this next tab, but I will just briefly explain what it is. You know when I said when you're doing the when you're doing the models that you change, you propose a new parameter and see if the likelihood is better or worse and accept that new parameter. Well, what the operators do is describe how to change that parameter. You don't need to change it, it's all the defaults are good, that's all fine. But that's, that's, what, that's what all this is. This is how those parameters are, are changing in the different steps. The final thing is to set the chain length um, for the Markov chain Monte Carlo. Um, in this case, the defaults are good. It's set to 10 million. Um, sampling every 1,000 steps because we don't really, you know, we want it to do 10 million steps, but we do not want 10 million things writing to a file. Just the 10,000 will do fine. <laughs> okay. Um, finally, you need to set the file names. What it will generate is it says here, it will generate a log file with all those MCMC traces. And it will generate a trees file with the trees which you'll summarise. However, what I always do is I always give it quite an informative long file name because I change the parameters quite a lot. So in this case, I set it with an SRD06 site rate model, um, a relaxed log normal clock, and a constant population size. And normally, when you're running MCMC, you normally do more than one run because, you, because it's a randomised process, so you normally want to run it at least twice. So, run one. When you click Generate Beast File, it will ask you to review your default priors, which are all fine, and it will ask you to save it, and you should again, you should save it to um, probably your M drive, where you save the file to will also depend where the output files are, are written. So in this case, I'm just, 
I'm actually just going to save it directly on the temp C drive, but you should save it somewhere better than that.